always a wonderful privilege when there is an opportunity to work for the Lord. Amen. And I encourage you, praise the name of the Lord, to work for the Lord. Only that is going to last. Remember what God has done for you. Remember what God is doing for you. And know, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, that when the opportunity comes for you to be able to do something for the Lord, don't hold back on Him. I want you to know that holding back on Him will only hinder your blessing. It will only, you will be rubbing yourself an opportunity of being blessed of the Lord. So I encourage you, please, when these opportunities come by, don't miss the opportunity. I thank God again for those soldiers who came out and uh, and uh, worked together, praise the name of the Lord, uh, to um, begin painting the building, praise the name of prime. the Lord, or priming what they did is to prime the whole building because they're changing the colors of the building praise the name of the lord my god god has been good even in the midst of a pandemic and we are all time have to show um appreciation and show god how much we appreciate what he has done for us praise the name of the lord praise the lord and in doing so he will always god will always be good to us we must always show appreciation always show gratitude to god praise the lord Bless the Lord this morning. I thank God again for you in a special way. This morning we want to go into the word of God. But as we get ready to go into the word of God, you know, we are in a time when a lot of people, um, when a lot of people internationally is struggling. We are in a time when economies, economies are being shattered and the um, leaders um, don't know what to do or where to turn. We are in a time when people have no other choice but to stay home. And the staying home, they are losing earnings. Some people are living on their savings. Some people are living on their savings. And we as Christians, and not only the Christians, you know, in um, in uh, among most all religions, you know, um, there, are, uh, there, there are systems there to be able to give to the work of whomsoever that religion might be. You know, for instance, the Muslims, they have zakat, and you know, they have the rules that um, in terms of the seriousness of zakat, if a person don't pay zakat and that sort of thing, the Muslim believe that that person um, is not only robbing him or herself, but that person um, can be considered a dead person. You know, you have the, the Hindus, they make sure that they make their contribution towards, as you say, more as the religion. You have all the other religions that, um, also we have the, the Pentecostals, we the full gospel believers who believe in the Bible, full gospel believing in the Bible. We um, also have, um, we also have our biblical principle, biblical principle from the Bible for us to be blessed. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, that it is important that we acknowledge these biblical principles. I want you to note something, praise the name of the Lord, that, and I'm talking to all of you, whether you are in, the, in Trinidad and Tobago or you are somewhere else, praise the name of the Lord. I want you to know that there are there, 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 there are principles to every promises, and the, every promise that is in the word of God, there are principles to it. And if you don't see the principles, you cannot have the promise. Praise the name of the Lord. And this is the reason why, you know, and um, we'll see in the word of God, the Bible teaches, our very faith without our work is dead. Praise the name of the Lord. Our very faith, you can have all the faith that you believe that you can have, praise the name of the Lord, in this world, or faith that you believe that you can have in God. I want you to understand, if you don't understand the principles of, of the blessings of God, you will not have the blessings of God. So, um, you know what is happening, it is you have a lot of believers, a lot of believers who are going through this time, they are asking, you know, you have believers who are asking, um, some people might have called, you know, Bishop, you know, they need more or less um, directions in certain things where um, we're giving unto God or tithing or receiving their blessings are concerned. And we have a duty to teach them, praise the name of the Lord. I said to one of our dear sister, I said to her, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be speaking on the principle of blessings, the principle of receiving, praise the name of the Lord. And you know, my God, you know, some people may say it is so insensitive for a preacher to preach 
on, on, on giving in, 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 in such a time. But I want you to know a person will only say that if that individual, if that individual is carnal minded. A person will only say that if that individual is not really, I should say, in the things of God or, or, the, or, 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 or believe what we believe. Praise the name of the Lord. And we believe, my God, whether you are a Christian or you are not a Christian, we believe, praise the name of the Lord, that there is a principle to be blessed. And even the man who is not a Christian, he also acknowledged that principle. The business, my God, sector, you see, they put more or less a a program in place that they can give back so my god because they know that it's only if they give back it will open the doors for returns praise the name of the lord it is it will open the doors for return so my god so to be able to to to, to receive returns hallelujah you have to give something because it is only what you deposit you will be able to withdraw praise the name of the lord it is only what you deposit you will be able to withdraw. It is only my God what you, my God, give out will return back to you. Praise the name of the Lord. So when we talk about returns, hallelujah, returns only come to what you, praise the name of the Lord, invested. Amen. You can only re, re, you can only receive returns from what you invested. And I want you to know when I talk about an investment, an investment, my God. When you invest, you invest into something, hallelujah, that will generate returns. Hallelujah. When you invest, you invest in something that will generate, praise the name of the Lord, that will generate profit. You're looking for profit. You're looking for my God. You're looking to be blessed. You don't, you don't, my God. You don't um, deposit or you don't, my God. You don't, my God. Hallelujah. You don't give um, um, give out with, with with the intention of not being be blessed. Hallelujah. You give, hallelujah, expecting to receive. The Bible said, give, and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shaken together, running over, shall man pour into your bosom. Praise the name of the Lord. So one may ask Bishop St. Rose, is it um, um, okay for me not to give in a time like these, in time of a pandemic, in time when things are so hard and, and the economies are being shattered and the, um, people are home, the little that I'm receiving, and the little that I'm receiving, Bishop St. Rose, is it the right thing for me to give? I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, my God, if anyone tell you differently, if anyone tells you that is not in the, a good season for you to give i want you to understand then that person don't will uh, that person don't appreciate that is the only way hallelujah you will be blessed praise the name of the lord the little that you have praise the name of the lord the little that you have i want you to understand if you my god give to god is a percentage of that Hallelujah. I want you to understand God is God is able to multiply back to you. Hallelujah. My God, more than you expected. The Lord the Bible teaches us about the widow's might. And the widow, my God, she had one might. She had, my God, she had very little. And Jesus, hallelujah, who would have been the, tre Jesus, who would have been the, the, the treasurer, I should say, of his ministry, he, my God, he, he stood, you will see in the Bible, that when the, the people gave, Jesus used to stand over, my God, he used to stand over the treasury, the treasury, whatsoever, would dare to collect, my God, the, the offerings. Jesus used to stand over the treasury, and the Bible said he used to watch in the treasury to see what was being given. And then this woman came, and the woman had one might. And the woman, because she had one might, and she could not have, have take out of that might, or split the might, or take a percentage of that might, the woman, she gave that one might, and she placed it into the treasury. And Jesus, oh my God, looked my God, and he saw what happened. 
and with all who were given, and they were given, my God, a lot because they had to give. But this woman gave all that she had, and that uh, attract the attention of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Yeah. And Jesus, hallelujah, immediately, hallelujah, he stopped everyone from giving and he began to make an example of the one might that the woman gave. And the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he began to let them know. He said, this woman, hallelujah, she gave all that she had. He said, you might be given, hallelujah, from the abundance of your heart. You are given because you have and you have a lot to give. But this woman, she gave all that she had. And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus was pointing out to them how blessed this woman is. Hallelujah. Because she understand the principle of receiving. Amen. When you are able to tap in into that principle, and my God, all the other religions, they will tell you that. They will teach you that. Whatsoever religion it might be, praise the name of the Lord, they will teach you that when you are able to tap in, and even, my God, the business people, when you are able to tap in into, my God, the principle of receiving, then, my God, you will be blessed significantly. Praise the Lord. So today, it, you know, it is is important that I speak to you, pra praise the name of the Lord, shortly that I speak to you on giving. I want to speak to you, hallelujah, on, on the doctrine of, of tithing because, you know, some people you hear, my God, you hear the critics out there, they say, you know, um, the churches, all that they're concerned about, it is uh, people monies and all this sort of thing. But I want you to understand, hallelujah, my God, um, in general, all of my God, who, whatsoever religion you might be, whatsoever God you might be serving, I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, our Bible teaches, our Bible teaches that money is answering all things. Amen. Without money, praise the name of the Lord, we cannot come on set like we are today. Without money, we cannot have the technology that we have today. Without money, Without money, we cannot, we, we are not able, my God, to be, to be able, my God, to give the gospel the way we want to give the gospel. Without money, my God, we cannot, my God, without money, we will not be able to give charities as we give. Without money, we will not be able to help people, my God, when they are in distress. Without, I want you to understand the scripture teaches that money answers all things. Now, praise the name of the Lord. For those of you who don't know me, Bishop Carl St. Rose, I don't preach much on giving because what I do is teach my people and my people understand so that they will understand the principle of giving. Praise the name of the Lord. And I know, my God, that when people hear giving and money and that sort of thing, what goes through their mind and, and make them, my God, I want you to understand, my God, the, the hardest thing to get people to do, my God, in life. It is to give. Somebody, I want you to understand. Uh, I thank God because I understand the principle of giving. I am thank God that God has been good to me. I want you to, it don't mean that there are times that I, my God, it will seem as though needs will come, but my needs are being fulfilled and met. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, I live a life, as David said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken, no seed begging bread. Why? Because I learned the principle of giving. You know, I told my wife, even on yesterday, I look at, I, I will look in my God at a little documentary on on Facebook and I said you know baby my heart reached out and I had cries out when I see these things because it's my prayer my God and the Lord will bless me so that I will have much so that I will be able my God to give hallelujah I wish hallelujah that I have to be able to make every man on the earth rich but somebody praise the name of the Lord my God the little that I have I thank God that I am able to share it with others hallelujah so that God Lord, hallelujah, will continue to open doors unto me. Praise the name of the Lord. So somebody, we want to talk shortly. And my God, in this pandemic season, in this go of a season, as some people call it, in this season of farming, as others may call it, we want to talk a little bit about, about blessings and about giving. Praise the name of the Lord. Because if we stop doing so, Praise the name of the Lord. As men of God, then we will render people, my God, to be in poverty. 
we will be encouraging people that my God, we will be encouraging that people be not blessed. Hallelujah. So we need, hallelujah. We need to make sure that we continue, hallelujah, to teach and to minister the word of God. Praise the Lord. Let him praise the name of the Lord. Maybe come and relax on his praise the Lord because I'm um, here in the um, squealing in the back. So let him get on his um, system. He have his own little system and let him um, praise the name of the Lord. Um, play with his and enjoy himself. Praise the Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Bless the Lord. So we would like to talk about the doctrine of of of, of, of Titan, and the, and we want to talk about giving. Praise the blessings of God in giving, and the, praise the name of the Lord. But first of all, I want you to note, and for those of you who are taking notes, I know that you have your Bibles with me. That I'm um, Titan. It is before the law of Moses, because you hear a lot of critics out there, and you hear people that tell you that I'm um, Titan is a um, law. And people not supposed to tithe and that sort of thing. But tithing, and I want you to know, my God, it is before the law of Moses. It was practiced. Tithing would have been practiced over four, 430 years before the law. Tithing, and for those of you who are writing, tithing would have been practiced over 430 years before the law. And uh, I want you to know, my God, that um, teaching of tithing is under the law. That is not biblical. And I want you to look at me um, 430 years before the law. Look at me in Genesis chapter 14 and verses 20. Genesis chapter 13, Genesis chapter 14 and verses um, 20. Praise the name of the Lord. So I'm hoping that you have your Bibles with you. And I'm reading from the Bible. I'm taking my time because we are a teaching church. For those of you who don't know, praise the name of the Lord. We are a teaching church. Genesis chapter 14 and verses 20. And the Bible reads here in Genesis chapter 14 and verses 20. And blessed be the most high God, which had delivered thine enemies unto thine hand. And he gave him ten, he gave him tithes of all. Praise the name of the Lord. And he gave him tithes of of all. Praise the name of the Lord. So you're seeing the Abraham, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord. Titan unto Melchizedek. And the who was Melchizedek? Melchizedek represented, my God, the priesthood of that time. Amen. So Melchizedek, hallelujah, represented the priesthood of that time as the church represent, my God, as the church represent God church in this time. Amen. So my God, Abraham was my God. Abraham belonged to the order of Melchizedek. And somebody we today in the church, we belong to the order of Melchizedek also. Amen. Because Melchizedek is the priesthood that the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ came through. Amen. So Jesus Christ's lineage, hallelujah, it came true, my God, the, the priesthood of Melchizedek. Praise the name of the Lord. And Jesus belonged to the order of Melchizedek. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible said that Abraham, after coming from battle, and Abraham, my God, won the battle. Praise the name of the Lord. Abraham, he paid hallelujah tithes of all unto Melchizedek. And when it's the Bible said tithes of all unto Melchizedek, tithes there, it speaks about one tenth, or a tenth, my God, it's back about 10% of all that Abraham would have been blessed with. Amen. Because the man, he took the spoil. The man, he was blessed. Hallelujah. He received much. And it was not uh, as a result of his ability. It was not as a result of his strength. But it was, hallelujah, as a result of God standing with him and God bringing him true. I want you to understand that there are many, hallelujah, who have nothing at all, my God, in this time. But my God, a little that you may have, I want you to understand that God has been good to you. Amen. In the midst of, of whatsoever we are experiencing during this pandemic, I want you to understand, hallelujah, God is good to you. So Abraham, my God, he gave one, he gave one tenth, or he tithes. And tithes there, it speaks about one tenth of all that he had. Praise the Lord. If you look also at Genesis, praise the name of the Lord. And we are teaching this morning. Genesis chapter 28 
Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 28 and verses um, 22. Praise the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 28 and verses 22. I'm reading from Genesis chapter 28 verses 22. And the Bible reads here and praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are seeing here, praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Jacob, the man of God. And that is in Genesis chapter 28 and verses 22. And the Bible reads here, and this stone, and Jacob is saying to God, he said, and this stone, which I have set for a pillar, and this stone, which I have set for a pillar, shall be God's house. So Jacob here, hallelujah, was setting a place for worship. He was setting a place to meet with God. He was set in a place, hallelujah, and my God, he called it the house of God. Like we have, my God, we have our church, praise the name of the Lord, my God. And I want you to understand, we are the church of God, hallelujah, gather as the ecclesia of God, make in the building of God to do the business of God. Praise the name of the Lord. I said we are the church of God, gather as the ecclesia of God, hallelujah, in a building to do the business of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So, so Jacob is said here, hallelujah, I've set for a pillar. Praise the name of the Lord. I've set up a building in out, a pillar, a, a spot. Hallelujah. So he said, shall be, he said, he said, which I have set up, he said, it shall be God's house and of all that thou shall give me. He's telling the Lord. And I want you to listen to this, whatsoever part of the world that you might be. Jacob is saying to the Lord, he said, and of all that thou shall give me, all that you will give me, I will surely give the tent, I will surely give the tent, that is 10%, hallelujah, unto thee. So Jacob, my God, uh, you know what I love about Jacob? Hallelujah. Jacob was a good negotiator. The man was a good negotiator. So Jacob is saying to God here, he's saying, God he said, I am going to set up this pillar, and this pillar will be recognized as your house. It means all my family, my friends, my servants, hallelujah, and all that is under my stewardship, they will come right here and worship. He said, and when they come here and worship, he said, Lord, he said, oh, how much you give to us, we will give you back one-tenth of that. Oh, we will give you back. He said, we will give you back the tent. And he's speaking about 10%. You will see that in Hebrew. Hallelujah. We will give you the tent of what you give to us. Praise the name of the Lord. So what we are seeing here, it is Jacob. He's negotiating with God. Praise the name of the Lord. He's saying, God, hallelujah. He's saying, God, hallelujah. If you give me one I'm give you, I'm gonna give you I'm gonna give you ten percent of that. What will my God? What 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 what, what 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 we understand that to mean? He said, God, if you give me one dollar, then you will only get ten cent from it. Praise the name of the Lord. He said, God, if you give me two dollars, I am I will now be able to give you twenty cent. Lord, if you give me three dollars, I will be. I, I'll be able to give you more. I'll be able to give you 30 cents. If you give me $4, Lord, I'll be able to give you 50 cents. If you give me $5, then Lord, I'll be able, my God, if you give me $5, then I'll be able to give you 50 cents. If you give me $6, I'll be able to give you 60 cents. Lord, if you bless me with $10, hallelujah, if you bless me with $10, I will be able to give you $1. So this Jacob here is negotiating with God. And Jacob is saying, Lord, and somebody that is long before the, that is long before the law. That is long before Moses come on the scene. We are seeing Jacob here is negotiating with God in relation to this 10% that my God and the churches ask for, hallelujah, for the business of God and to make sure that the business of God and the things of God is properly well run like what we are doing here this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. So my God, so Jacob, hallelujah, he understood the 
principle here. Hallelujah. And he was a good negotiator. God, if you are if you give me, praise the name of the Lord, a hundred dollars, then Lord, I will be able to give to you, my God, I'll be able to give to you much more. Because hallelujah, the more you give me, Lord, it is the more I will have to give back to you. Praise the Lord. You see somebody, I want you to understand, Jacob, he knew that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Jacob he knew, hallelujah, that the cattle that was upon a thousand hill, it belongs to God. Jacob he knew that my God, don't matter how much is his ability, he knew that don't matter how much is his potential in, to be able to do business and to invest, you can be a good businessman today and you lose everything tomorrow. There is a lot of businessmen who today tears are in their eyes because their business have been closed down for two years and they cannot make one cent. So my God, their business, it is no more. This is the reason why it is good to negotiate with God. It is good to put your business in God's hand because there are businessmen who are doing the same business as others who are closed down. And they, my God, there are businessmen who know how to give and God would have given them direction how to shift their business so that they can continue to make money, so that they can continue. Some of them, I want you to understand, God, hallelujah, have put things in place that, my God, they are still strong and going on. They may not be able to do all that they were doing before, but God, hallelujah, hallelujah, is going to continue to increase them. And when things, my God, come back the way, hallelujah, the, the economy is expected it to be, my God, they will be blessed tremendously more than they would have been blessed before. Hallelujah. Why? Because I want you to understand what you give to God will always last. What you give to God will always be remembered by him. Praise the name of the Lord. So somebody, Jacob, he was a good negotiator. So again, Jacob said, Lord, whatsoever you give to me, I am going to give you a tent. I'm going to give you the tent. He said, the tent, meaning 10% of what you give to me. So you know, my God, you hear people, my God, say, my God, tithing is under the law. Jacob was doing this 430 years before the law of Moses. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when you look at Hebrew, I want you to, to, to praise the name of the Lord, my God. When you look at Hebrew, praise the name of the Lord. The, the Bible speak about Melchizedek there in Hebrew, and I want to talk about that a little bit because we are teaching, and I don't want to go too fast because people throughout the world is listening to you. And my God, and I'm saying if you're not, if you're incoherent and you, you're not, my God, explaining what you believe from your from your Bible, what you believe in according to your teaching, then you will confuse them and you will give them good reason to criticize you. But I want you to understand, my God, you have to know what you believe and you have to know hallelujah, in whom you believe. Praise the name of the Lord. So in, in look at the book of Hebrews chapter 1 to 12. Praise the Lord. Hebrews chapter 1 to 12. And I'm reading from the book of Hebrews chapter 1. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. To 12. Praise the name of the Lord. Father, we give you the praise. Hebrews chapter 1 to 12. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you, if you, praise the name of the Lord. I want to say, if you haven't say amen. We are talking some heavy stuff here this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. Stuff that, by God, people sometimes don't like to hear. But I want you to understand it is important to teach people. Amen. So let us look at, at Hebrews chapter 7. Verses 1 to 11, and praise the name of the Lord, and we are looking from verses 1. And the Bible reader, for this Melchizedek king of Shalem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings, and he blessed him, praise the name of the Lord, So and, and Abraham blessed him. To whom also Abraham gave a tenth, to whom also Abraham gave a tenth part of all, first being by interpretation king of righteousness, and after that, also king of Salem, which is a king of peace. Praise the name of the Lord. Without father, without mother, without descent, having neither beginning of, the, of days, nor end of life, 
but make like unto the Son of God, abide the priest continually. Abide the priest continually. We can discuss Melchizedek another time. That is not our teaching this morning. Praise the name of the Lord. But that is a topic. It's a teaching. It's a big teaching because you'll be teaching or you'll be discussing the order of Melchizedek. So that is a, a teaching in theology. That is a lot to teach. And we can, we can teach you on that. Praise the name of the Lord. A little more for those of you who have already know what you know. But we can teach you on that and even have our Facebook friends to be not teaching an, uh, another time. But we want to continue to read from verses 4. Now consider now consider how great this man was, unto whom every patriarch, Abram or uh, 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 unto whom, sorry, even the patriarch Abram gave the tent of his sports. Even the patriarch Abram gave the tent of his sports. And every my God, so 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 what the Bible saying? This man was a great man, and because he represented the the, the Leviticus priesthood. Come on, somebody, mm -hmm. he represented the Leviticus priesthood. He would have been the head priest, hallelujah, of the Leviticus priesthood, like unto Jesus. Come on, somebody. So like unto Jesus, come on somebody, Abraham, my God, he saw that man, hallelujah, as a, a, as a, a, a image, hallelujah, a, praise the name of the Lord, Pastor Michel, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, so somebody didn't have the scripture, I want you to look at Hebrews chapter 7 verses 1 to 11, Hebrews 7 verses 1 to 11, I think one person is asking um, for the scripture that is Hebrews chapter 8. Chapter 7, verses 1 to 11, and we are reading, we are on verses 4, praise the name of the Lord, on verses 4 again, I'm reading verses 4 again because we are teaching, we are teaching ministry and we want you to be in your Bible to you, I feel good to know that you are in your Bibles, praise the name, now consider how great this man was, that is Melchizedek who represented Jesus. Now concerning how great this man was, unto whom even the patriarch Abram, he gave a tenth of his spoil. So my God, so, so, so the man Ab Abram, he saw Melchizedek, who was the high priest of the, the order of Melchizedek, or, the, or my God, or the Melchizedek priesthood, uh, he saw him, hallelujah, as a great man. Come on somebody, how do you see Jesus? How do you see Jesus? Is Jesus worthy of a tenth of all that we have? Or was Melchizedek worthy of it, but not Jesus? And I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. We ought to understand the principle here. Come on, somebody. So, so let us look at verses 5. Praise the name of the Lord. Verses 5. And verily they that are of the son of Levi, and I want you to look at that. Leave the Leviticus priest said, I said, and verily they that are of the son of Levi who receive office of the priesthood have command have commandment to take tithes of people according to the law. That is of their brethren who they come out of the loins of Abraham. So what my God, what what, what Paul is seeing here. It is the same principle that applied to Melchizedek, who was my God, who was a type of Jesus Christ. The same principle applies in the, or among the Leviticus priesthood, and the same principle applies now. We're going to talk about that a little more because we're going to praise the name of the Lord. We want to go into the New Testament because people see this as an Old Testament thing, but we'll do that, praise the name of the Lord, in a short time. Maybe I may not be able to finish it today, but we will have to continue it. And I know that some of you um, will be looking forward to it. Even if we can't finish it today, we'll have to continue it on Thursday. Praise the name of the Lord. So verse 6. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham. So my God, he, so, so if, 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 if I, I want you to look at that, but my God, I love that. But he whose descent is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham. So they're talking about Melchizedek, who descent is not counted, my God, among the, Levi the Levites, praise the name of the Lord, because he was the, the head of the, uh, 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 of, of, of the Melchizedek priesthood. My God, 
My God, Abraham recognized him as a type of Jesus, and Abraham paid tithes. So, so Paul is saying it, but he who is the same is not counted from them received tithes of Abraham, and bless him, and bless him that had the promise. Look at verse 7 now. And without all contradiction, the least is blessed of the, of the better. The least is blessed of the better. Verses 8. And he and here, and I want you my God, praise the name of the Lord. Verses 8. And here, men that die receive tithes. So, so Paul is talking about Melchizedek here. He said, men that die receive tithes. But there he received them of whom it is witness that he lived. Come on, somebody. So um, Melchizedek, who praised the name of the Lord, was a man at that time. He's dead, but he was a type of Jesus Christ who now liveth. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And as I may so say, that is verse 9, Levi also, who received tithes, he paid tithes to, in Abraham. For he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. So what they're saying here, it is a Jesus, he came to the loins, or he came to the lineage, hallelujah, of that Melchizedek priesthood. And somebody, even my God, Melchizedek was a type of the Lord and saved Jesus Christ, hallelujah, who oh my God, that principle of tithing, my God, to the priesthood of God, it had never changed. And I want you, we're going to go a little further because you will ask me, Pastor St. Louis, where in the New Testament said that we'll talk about it a little more. Praise the name of the Lord, but we are taking our time. And if you want to get all of it, you have to be in all the studies. Amen. So we praise the name of the Lord. So we are looking at the word of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are reading now verses 11. And I said we we'll read up to verses 11. If therefore perfection were by the Levitical priesthood, for under it the people received the law, what further need was there that another priest shall raise after the order of Melchizedek? So that is Jesus here we are talking about. Hallelujah. And I want you to look at that again. Let, 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 let look at that again. What further need was there that another priest shall raise or shall rise after the order of Melchizedek and not be called after the order of Aaron? Praise the name of the Lord. So we are seeing here that Jesus, hallelujah, he came out or he came through the order of Melchizedek. He would have been the type that Melchizedek represented. And my God, and tithes were paid to Melchizedek for the work of God, for the business of God to be run efficiently. I want you to understand, my God, hallelujah, praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah. Uh, you know, my God, I'm going back to say that same statement that I made in the beginning, hallelujah, that the Bible teaches that money is answering all things. Now, I want you to understand, listen to somebody, it. We got to be very careful about that statement because some people use that statement in the wrong context. Because I want you to know, you hear some people tell you that this preacher is saying that money answers all things. I don't believe that. My God, it is in the Bible, it is in the Word of God. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And they go on to say that, my God, money is evil. How can this preacher say that money answer it all thing? Money is, is evil. The Bible don't teach that money is evil. The Bible teaches the love for money becomes the root of all evil. The love for it, it becomes the root of all evil. And that is what is happening here. You have, my God, you have people become corrupt because of money. People will take bribes and, and the, my God, and the, they will, and people will, kill you because my God they want to get what you have and all because of money the love of money become the root of evil that brothers and sisters just kill each other because of a property that my God a property that have a certain amount of collateral 
and that property or a will that have collateral my god they will kill each other the love for money become the root of all evil preachers that become corrupted because of money my god they love you because you can bless them and they hate and they don't my god and they dislike another person because the individual have very little to give to them so preachers has become corrupted why because the love of money it becomes the root of all evil preachers be, my god get themselves into filthy lucca and filthy lucca there it mean when somebody could bribe you to be able my god to, to get positions in the church to bribe you to be able my god to be able to get recognition in the church i want you to understand that is a preacher that is in filthy lucca I want you to understand men and women of God have become corrupted because of the love for money. I want you to know, praise the name of the Lord, my God. The, but the Bible teaches money, it answers all things. It means that there must be a certain level of discipline. You have the power to choose to become corrupted or not to become corrupted. You have the power, I want you to understand, my God. To, you have the, under, the power to do the right thing. If God is blessing you and you can be a blessing to God and to his church and to his ministry, you don't need anything from man. You don't need anything from man, my God, because your blessings, it comes from God. It is only what you do for God, it is going to last. Hallelujah. So praise the name of the Lord. So Melchizedek was a type of Jesus Christ. And tithe was paid to him and, and Melchizedek is dead. Jesus is alive. My God, is not Jesus, my God, much more or greater than, my God, than Melchizedek who walk and live on the earth? I want you to understand is an empty grave in Jerusalem showing that Melchizedek who walked and lived on the earth, my God, and, and rose from the dead. I want you to understand how there is an empty grave that shows that Jesus Christ, my God, he burst the tomb and he was risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Is not Jesus much more than Melchizedek? So my God, I want you to understand we are talking about Praise the name of the Lord. That tithing was long before the law of Moses. You see, tithing was always commanded of God or by God. It was a command from God. Look with me in Leviticus chapter 27 and verses 30. We are teaching, praise the name of the Lord. I hope that you are enjoying the teaching. I hope that you are with me. You can give a thumbs up. If you are enjoying it, my God, if you are understanding what we are teaching, you can give a thumbs up so that I can see your thumbs. I can know, pray that you're with me. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm seeing you there. And I thank God for you. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I praise God for you. I'm seeing those thumbs. Hallelujah. That letting me know that you, hallelujah, are in it. You are part of it. You are studying with us. Praise the name of the Lord. So we want to, my God, Praise the name of the Lord. We are looking now, I told you, at a tithing was commanded by God. Look with me in Leviticus chapter um, 27 and verses 30. You have it, say amen. Chapter 27 and verses 30. I'm reading from verses 30. And all the tithes of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. All is the Lord's. I want you to look at that there. You will see the Lord's apostrophe S. It meaning, uh, my God, it belongs to God. It don't belongs to you. It means all that God give you, all that God bless you with, all that God, uh, and I said to you, yeah. hallelujah, I said to you, praise the name of the Lord, that my God, the very things that you have from God can become no more, my God, in the space of a second. You can wake up in the morning and realize that it's all gone. Somebody, are you listening? This is the reason why you 
or to put it in the hands of God. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible says here, hallelujah, or of the fruit of the tree, it is the Lord's. It belongs to God. It is holy unto him. It means my God. The tent of all that God has given, God has commanded that a tent of that it belongs to me. I am going to multiply back unto you. Give unto me and it shall be given back to you. Press down, shaken together, running over. My God shall men pour into your bosom. Things that you least believe that you would have been blessed and increased by. God is going to increase the little that you have. God is going to multiply and cause it to become much. Hallelujah. 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 But it's all about understanding that it belongs to God. It, it don't belong to man. It belongs to God. Praise the name of the Lord. If you look, my God, at I, I want you to look with me at, at, at praise the name of the Lord at Mike uh, and we look at, at at Malachi. Come on, Malachi, chapter three. Praise the name of the Lord. We are looking at Malachi chapter three, and we are looking. Praise the name of the Lord at Malachi chapter three from verses eight. On the verses 12, praise the name of the Lord. Verses 8 on the verses 12. My God, Titan was all, always commanded of, by God. My God, and I want you to understand, as I said to you, it is over 430 years before the Lord. So don't let nobody tell you that Titan is, uh, my God, is um, Moses' law, and, and Moses' law is done away with, and all these conspiracy theories, but no scriptures to back it up. I want you to understand, my God, you allow. Well, anything that people tell you, prove all things and hold fast to the one that is good. Don't let nobody rob you your blessings. Don't let nobody take from you what God has given to you. Understand the principles, hallelujah, of keeping it. And the principles of keeping it, it is when you know that out of what God has given to you, you take, uh, my God, God, part of it that is holy unto God and put it there for the Lord. Hallelujah. Because why? It is holy unto unto God. It's the Lord's. It's not yours. Praise the name of the Lord. And my God, listen to me somebody. People can, and my God, you know the world, come on somebody, have their own conspiracy theories. But my God, they are not Christians. My God, the world is not Christians. Jesus came to die. God said, for I love the world and I give my only begotten son. But I want you to understand, we Christians, we ought to know. Don't let my God, the world be blessed in, 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 their, in their doing and you are not blessed. Hallelujah. Understanding the principle that, that will cause you to be blessed in the midst of a pandemic. I want you to understand, in the midst of a pandemic, you still have to give to God. I praise the name of the Lord. You don't stop giving. Hallelujah. Malachi chapter 3 verses from verse 8 you have to say amen oh my god I'm feeling this thing I hope my god I'm feeling this thing I hope it's a good feeling oh father we give you the praise I want you to know praise the name of the Lord the spirit knows hallelujah and I know that the spirit of God is talking to somebody this morning yes the spirit of God is talking to somebody my god it may not be someone in the new Christian ministry but it might be someone somewhere some part of the world and you're struggling my god with that principle that fully understanding but you're beginning to understand this morning hallelujah oh god blessing be upon you sister god bless you sister god bless you praise the name of the lord hallelujah father we give it the praise thank you jesus hallelujah so we are reading from verses eight we said tithing and my god tithing and my God, this is a, my God, this is the last script that we will have to touch on this morning. So I tell you, if you don't come back on on Thursday, you missed it because I'm going, my God, head on. Praise the name of the Lord. On Thursday, we continue to talk about tithing. Praise the name of the Lord and about being blessed by God, by God in this pandemic. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. My God. Malachi chapter 3 verses 8 to 12. We are talking about it has been commanded by God. Look from verses 8. The Bible reads here from verses 8. Will a man rob God? A Christian acts and God is speaking here. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me, but he say wherein have we robbed thee? 
you have robbed me in tithes and in offerings. So my God, so we are talking about God here, not, not the pastor, not the, the preacher. Come on, somebody, the pastor, the preacher, they have a responsibility to make sure that they teach him. And to make sure, my God, the tithes come in so that they can do the business of God. Oh my God, the, the Bible teaches my God. My God, any man that will begin, who man will that will begin to build a house and will not come the course first? You're building a house and you, you have no money to finish the house and everything stand up there and grass grow over it and my God and everything that they put on there it rotten down because you start to build a deck in and the wood remain there and the wood rotten down and your neighbors look at you and they laugh at you why because you don't my God have the money to finish it when you're building a house you got to come the course God put things in place to make sure that this house is being taken care of my God the bills my God it must be paid the maintenance of the building must be maintained. My God, according to the word of God, my God, priests and people who preach the gospel ought to live by it. My God, people, my God, who preach the gospel and not working and, and have their own, they supposed them, my God, be properly well taken care of. The God, I want you to answer, it is in the word of God. Come on, somebody. God has put all that is necessary to make sure that it's being done. He has placed you there in the ministry. He has given you and he's going to bless you. He'll make some of you millionaires. Some of you, my God, you will have much more than you expected to have. Not because he wanted to build bigger bands. Not because he wanted to expand your, your warehouses so that you could hold more. He's opening up and blessing you so that you will have much to give this house. So that God can continue to increase you. So that you will never stop having. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Somebody, I'm excited because you know why God has been good to me. Praise the name of the Lord. So we are reading, my God, Malachi chapter 3 from verses 8. I'm reading. We are going back to 8 again. I want you to go back to 8. Will a man rob God? Yet you have robbed me. But you say, wherein have we robbed thee? Hallelujah. He goes on to say, in your tithes and in your offering. He goes on and I want you to look at verse 9. Come on, somebody. Look with me in verse 9. He are cursed with a curse. For you have robbed me even this whole nation. He's saying, my God, not only the people that belong to the order of Melchizedek, not only the people that belong to my household is robbing me. My God, they're getting, I'm blessing them and they're not giving back to me. I'm blessing them and sometimes for them to just make a commitment to, 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 to bless my house, a commitment, my God. They may not have money, but all that I'm asking for is, my God, a sacrifice of their service to give to me. Hallelujah. I want you to understand, my God. God is saying, my God, even the people who are in my ecclesia, they are robbing me and the whole nation, they are doing it because my God, when the nation, my God, that I skip in the midst of pandemic and that I am opening up doors and causing them to receive 800,000, my God, vaccine for their people and causing them, my God, to receive my God, to receive the, 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 the right, my God, knowledge and idea to administer this vaccine and causing and keeping their people away from dying, my God, like flies, as hundreds and thousands and millions are dying in other countries. My God, God is saying, my God, even the nation is robbing me, hallelujah, because they're not seeing that I have to give back. I have to give back and listen to me somebody. Ah, oh my God, blessed be any government that will give my God churches. My God, that will give churches so that they can give to the people that have need. Come on, somebody. My God, we are not for we were not fortunate to get my God anything. We were in, in terms of uh, I'm talking about in terms of of of, of um in terms of of, of of subventions to be able to help my God people in this time, but a little 
that we have as a ministry, my God, we are stretching it and trying to help as much as we can help. Praise the name of the Lord. And God has been good to us as a ministry because you know why? We give charity, we give back. Praise the name of the Lord. So somebody, God will always be good to new creation ministry. We are not dependent on the government, but I want you to understand if the government bless new creation ministry, I'm not saying that, that governments have not blessed new creation ministry. Yes, this government, other governments have blessed new creation ministry in the, my God. And we thank God for that. And God has been good to them. But I want you, my God, governments before my God have blessed us. And my God, the land that has been allocated to us, it is because my God, of God used governments to do so. But somebody, I want you to understand, praise the name of the Lord, that my God, those governments will be blessed and shall always be blessed. But somebody, hallelujah, we ought to be at the example because you've seen God is saying, will a man rob me? He said, you have robbed me. My God, but look at verses, my God, nine, hallelujah. He said, you are cursed with a curse for you have robbed me, even this whole nation. So nations who bless God will always be blessed. People who bless God with a little that they have and put aside a little and say, God, this is yours. My God, God is going to bless them, hallelujah, because the principle of, 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 of receiving is when you learn how to give. The Bible teaches that God, he gave a seed unto sores. God will only give seed unto those who he know will sow back. Hallelujah. Because he knows sores. Understand the principle of sowing and reaping. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sowing and reaping is a powerful law. My God, you don't have a grain of corn and eat the one grain of corn and pass it out in the toilet. If you eat the one grain of corn that you have and pass it out in the toilet, it is finished. It is done. There is no, my God, there is no investment there because they eat the one grain of corn. But if you want to invest a grain of corn, you will invest it into the soil. You will place it in the good soil and you will cause that grain of corn to grow and burst forth. And that grain of corn will bring you many heads of corn. That is the principle of sowing and reaping. It is the principle of sowing and reaping. My God, you will receive many heads of corn so that you can continue to plant more, so that you can continue to reap more. God, the Bible teaches God, he gives seed on the soils. God will. God knows you. He knows everything about you. He know how. He know how how liberal you are, and he know how stingy you are. He know how stingy you are, and he know how liberal you are. He will only bless you if he know that you, my God. He love a cheerful giver. A cheerful giver. It is one, my God, who will be happy to give.